As a traditional planner, I love the process of writing things down. And especially with notes and ideas for videos and things around bullet journaling, I love it so much that I actually have multiple notebooks where I'm doing this. But the problem is, is that I'm losing time in rework. I'm running things in multiple notebooks. I'm rewriting a lot of things because they're in a lot of different places. And I need to find a way that I can look at my timeline of my projects and things I'm working on more holistically. So I wanted to work on my big idea, which is finding a golden source of information that I can access whenever and wherever I want. So I've decided to go digital in this respect and use some new features of today's video sponsor Notion to accomplish what I need to. More on them in just a bit. My name is Mark and I go by Men Who Bullet here on YouTube, as well as Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and my website, menwhobullet.com. And I have a lot of places currently where I'm keeping my notes. I have an Anto planner that I'm using for video tracking and scheduling and ideas. I also have two different ideas notebooks that I've been using over the years to capture just random ideas, build outlines and do things like that. I create a dedicated bullet journal for notes and ideas. I have a plotter that I've been using to also capture ideas and most recently, carrying around a pocket notebook to capture things on the go. There's definitely pros to writing things down instead of doing everything digitally. For me personally, I get a lot out of the feeling of pen to paper. I absolutely love it. Ideas just flow freely whenever I'm brainstorming and I don't have to worry about being specific. And what I love is I can easily expand on those ideas in multiple pages in a notebook without any problem at all. Now the cons of analog planning and note taking and idea generation is that I don't always have a notebook with me when I'm out and about. So if I don't have the right notebook and I can't write down that idea, isn't gonna make it back to where it's supposed to go, I can't always count on that happening. Now I have taken some first steps into moving digitally, specifically using my phone's note app. I find that I'm using the notes app more when I'm on the go or not really around any of my other stuff. So a lot of times I'm audibly communicating that while I'm in the car or I'm out and about and I have a quick idea that I wanna jot down. Sometimes I'm lying in bed and I'm like, oh, I have an idea, let me jot it down real quick because I don't keep a pen and paper next to my bed all the time. So here's my problem. I have a lot of ideas in a lot of different places and I can't always trust that they're all gonna make it into one single gold source. So here's what I need. I need something that's gonna be scalable. I need something that's gonna grow with me, different ideas, and be able to organize it as I need to. I also need it to be accessible. Whether I'm at home, whether I'm on the go, I need to be able to jot down a note or check a status at a moment's glance. And a big goal of mine is I want to be able to combine all of these different notebooks, if I can, into one spot. For example, I'm using my Anto Notes a book to track videos and schedules and things going on for YouTube. I like the tactile approach to scheduling, crossing things off, but the problem is there's no direct connection between the different things that I'm working on. Ideas in one place, schedules in another. The other thing that I want to make sure that I can do is continue to build a backlog of ideas. Like I mentioned, I'm thinking of ideas all the times, so whether I'm in the car or sometimes late at night, just when I'm working or watching other videos myself, I need a place to capture those quickly without having to go too far. So along with those main criteria, I also need to be able to capture specific things and make sure that they're repeatable. Some of the things that I wanna make sure that I can capture and track are all the different project ideas, different notes that I might have around those. I want a single place for all of my outlines and I wanna be able to track my creative process when I'm outlining an idea, recording, editing, uploading, and adding details and even scheduling on YouTube. So this is where Notion comes in. Notion is a connected workspace where you can create docs, you can take notes, manage your tasks, and organize your work all in one place. And using Notion's new project and task feature, you can easily plan, organize, and track all of your projects in one place and create that single gold source that I've been talking about. Notion's project is going to allow me and you and your teams to centralize all of your information into one place. You can add meeting notes, brainstorm ideas, launch plans, goals, tasks, schedule it, do it all, and nothing is gonna get lost. So for me, there's no need to switch between different notebooks, planners, and apps to get all the information I need. I can do that all inside of Notion. And depending on how your teams work, there's no need to switch between tools like Asana, Google Docs, or Confluence to find the information you need. There's even integrations now with specialized tools like Figma, Slack, GitHub, and even more. Notion is also the first project management tool with AI fully accessible. You can have AI assist you with completing tasks, updating your statuses, even helping you out with idea generation for scripts, proposals, and reports. 
You can get started with Notion for free in the link in the description below, as well as accessing free templates for projects and tasks. So as you can see, Notion Projects is pretty damn cool. So let me show you how I'm utilizing this now for all of my idea generation and keeping track of everything going on with my videos and projects. So first things first, I'm using the template that already exists for projects and tasks underneath the templates. This was fantastic. It got me up and running super fast. To add a project into Notion, all you have to do is click on new project and then it's going to go ahead and give you some fields and things to fill out. And depending how you and your teams work, you could actually assign projects to people. You can add details, due dates, additional tasks. We're going to be doing that actually in just a few minutes. Right now, let's just go ahead and capture some more of our ideas. One of the things that I love about Notion is your ability to make these enhancements as you go. So you don't have to worry about this being perfect when you start. You can just get started. So when I'm working in Notion, sometimes my ideas are a little further along than others. Sometimes it's just about rapid capture. Sometimes I wanna build on an idea quickly. So for example, let's say I wanna create a video about five ways you can use your bullet journal at work. The title, the idea is there, but maybe I haven't really worked through or workshopped some of the ways that I can do this. What's cool about Notion is they have their new AI feature that can help you get a running head start on your ideas. So let's go ahead and ask the AI five ways that you can use your bullet journal at work. And there it goes. It goes ahead and populates some of those ideas that I can edit, I can build on, or completely replace if I want to. You do get to try out the AI function for free for a few tries, but after those are done, you do have to pay a $10 monthly fee to continue to use the AI functionality. Now I mentioned before that I wanted to be able to capture the task in my creative process in my solution as well. And this is where the tasks come in super handy. I love this feature. The template actually helps you already create those things that get up and running, which is great. So here's the things that I wanna be able to capture. This is my standard creative process for videos. The first is I need to create an outline. My second step is recording, then I'm editing, then I'm uploading to YouTube. I'll work on creating a thumbnail from there, I'll add the extra YouTube details, I'm gonna schedule that video, and then I'm gonna go ahead and store it and archive it when it's done. What I love is you can track your projects at a high level, but you also can track your task at a level like that as well. So in this template, you have a project overview and you also have a task overview, and you can filter and sort these however you need to. Like I mentioned, I have a bad habit of working on too many things at once. So one of my favorite features in this template is actually the timeline feature. As you can see here, I'm starting to plan out all of my videos, not just when they're done, but also when I need to be working on them as a way to keep myself and my capacity up to par. I don't wanna overload myself, but I also don't necessarily only need to work on one thing at a time. Let's go ahead and use my Q&A videos as an example here. So these are videos that I publish almost every Friday. And what's cool is I can set the end date for that project for each Friday through the month. And that's gonna help me think about how much time do I have to work on this? These videos are relatively short to edit, so I only need a handful of days to do this. So I'll give myself a Sunday through a Friday to work on those. Now I can set these all on my timeline and get a really great view of what's going on. And what's cool is you can even break down your view for your timeline. I can go as deep as hours if I want to. I can look at specific days, an entire week, months, quarters, and even a year if I need to. I also love that I can use this to forecast the time that I'm going to need to work on a project depending on its capacity. So these Q&A videos are only two or three minutes long. They're just single shot answering a question so they don't need a lot of time. But another video might need different things like B-roll, talking head, like this. I might need to get detail shots and work through other pieces which might need more time. I can expand that timeline as I need to and that'll give me a good visual of when I need to start a project to make sure that I finish it on time. What I love is that Notion's available on all of my different devices. If I need to make updates or jot down a quick idea on my phone, I can do that. I can look at it on my tablet and still plan and be a little bit more functional and update my outlines. Or if I'm on a desktop or a laptop, I can access this anywhere. So far, I absolutely love Notion and this project and task template because I can do everything that I need to in one space. So I can capture ideas in a backlog. I can pull them into in progress when I'm starting to work on an outline or starting to record some videos and check through those tasks and my process as I'm going along. 
I have a lot of work that I still have to do here and really getting this and finessing this. But like I mentioned earlier in the video, you can always add and change and update Notion. It doesn't have to be perfect when you start, but the template gives you almost everything that you need to get up and running, which has just been fantastic. If you're already using Notion for your projects or even for work, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments below on what your favorite feature of Notion is. Is there something that I'm not using yet that you think would be super helpful? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you again to Notion for sponsoring today's video and don't forget to head down to the descriptions below and there's a link down for you so you can check out all of these cool features of Notion for free as well as try out their new AI functionality. It's pretty amazing, I love what it's doing. I can't wait to learn more about it. As always, thank you so much for hanging out for today's video and I will talk to you next time. Happy planning.